Hi all. So I, this is actually the second video I've done. Uh, the first one just it just went out of hand. It was just it was just long and rambling, and I was talking rubbish, and I've absolutely no idea what the hell I was thinking. So I decided to do this one and go back over what I was trying to get out the first time, which I didn't manage to do, which is essentially just a quick look through Searchploit. Searchploit is basically a local copy of exploit db we'll use exploit db as we can see here we go we search found our version number everyone's a winner download it and crack on but what happens if you haven't got internet connectivity wherever you are which is more than possible you'd have to rely on a local copy of it and this is where searchploit comes in so Essentially, it is, as it says there, you are searching through the ExploitDB database. This is updated when you do an apt update. And it basically means that you can go through and you can, you can find your exploits and you can deploy them without having to go out to the internet. You can also use it, you can back it off to the internet as well. And I'll show you why that would be useful. So, we had Apache 2.0. And let's pretend that I typed that the first time. a lot more time on your reference than I would need with this laptop that I have now. Okay, so essentially we're looking at that. So we can see immediately, we can see that it's listing a lot of the results that we would get normally. So if we go out to, if we go out to Google and search for point naught exploit and there full path disclosure and I'd virtually guarantee two one seven one nine two one seven and that's there full path disclosure okay and that's awesome that I forgot to do that so there you go and that's there full path path disclosure okay wow this is probably one of the slickest presentations you've ever seen so how does that help us well it helps because as I say we, we don't need that internet connection necessarily we can use this as it is as a local copy so if I during mine my assessments such as they are I like to fat finger every single keystroke. I like to create a directory that I'm working in. So let's just create a demo. Okay, so now there's nothing in that. Okay. What I would do here is I would do my nmap scans um, and I would output them to a text file in here I would you can also as well you, you so if you if you run nmap scan you output it to XML search ploit will also take that XML file as an input and it will run against all the version numbers that it finds in it and it will do its best to come up with with the the, the matches for the exploits however it can sometimes be too accurate and what I mean by too accurate is you can miss potential vulnerabilities if you have, say, I don't know, let's say Apache 2.0 to Apache 2.2.5.9 was vulnerable to something and you've got 2.2.5.4, it'll miss that. It won't show you that. But in this particular instance, we are lucky 
because quite by chance I picked 2.0 which appears to be vulnerable to just about everything that man ever wrote a code for. So how do we get this, how do we use this then to our advantage? Right, so take this one. We'll take the remote denial of service. It doesn't really matter which one it is because when all said and done, it, it's just a demo on, on um, search exploit. Okay. So that's 11. So if I do a search exploit P 11, that is that exploit we just saw. And its path has been copied to the clipboard. So, what we can do then is we can then go on to paste it into a text file so that we've got it because obviously, as you're doing your assessments, like everybody, you'll keep notes as you go through. But what we can also do to bring it into to here is we can take that. and copy it with a dot to our working directory. Then we have that. Now, I, I do tend to follow the advice that I got when I was learning, um, and still learning, of course, uh, which is to compile any exploits on the target machine because you're not into, I mean, these, these are exploits. These are written by people that are exploiting stuff. You know, you got, you got to take it easy. But this is in C. Do that. Now, if you don't give GCC any switches or any alternative, it will compile it to A dot out, and then you would then stick that on your target machine and and, and go for gold, basically. Um, something else I want to show. An interesting thing was my inability to touch type. Um, so if we search for, if you use W, then it goes out to the web to search and you'll see that these um, results change. And there we have the hyperlinks. So we can just copy the link, open the link. So if you open the link and go there, you can see that's that one that is one eight three two nine so there yeah so it's one eight three two nine that one okay that's kind of useful um i guess now the xml file is something else so i happen to have a box on Uh, on this network, which I can scan. Um, scan. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, one, nine, two, three, four, zero, one, fifty. And I want to output it to an XML file, which is test dot XML. So I'll scan that box now and I'll pause the video till it's done and then I will I will pick it back up and show you how we run that into Searchploit, but also the, the, the dangers of doing that, although it, it looks kind of cool. Okay. Okay, so now we're back. So we can see that it's done that. It's uh, completed the scan. And as long as I didn't screw everything up, we've got our XML file. Okay, so the syntax for this is and then V for verbose, which means it, it matches more uh, version numbers. And then the 
file number and hopefully if I've got it right um, it should work okay so this this is the thing it looks awesome I mean I really know if you was to be shoulder surfing you think I really knew what the hell I was on about um, you'd be wrong but if if anything it actually takes a little bit longer to go through it really um, because it's searching for titles and then searching for the version numbers. You see how HTTPS it's got that. See what else it got. It got the cups server. Status. We got some. We got some Apache in there, but we don't have. So we have the mod Perl for cross-site scripting, but we don't seem to have as much as we had before when we did it manually. So looks cool use it um, it can sometimes work it hasn't worked for me as yet so I, I, I guess I, I probably won't be using it um, and I think that's it really um, get used to using it search ploy is awesome it really is awesome um, it is updated and it is uh, yeah it, it's, it's a good tool it's a good tool so enjoy and um I've, I've, I, you know i hate to say it but if you want to subscribe then just crack on and subscribe and if you want to ask me any questions and just ask me any questions um you know i i just don't like the idea of sounding like a like i'm trying to be a, a i don't know some kind of youtube star i'm not um but please subscribe obviously because i it does me good and um and i'll see you in the next fat fingered video